Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday the 17th. Um, I am super sick. Um, I had this, I don't think this is the same sickness I had the last time I was sick because <clears throat> I don't, it don't feel the same. This one is way more intense. I will say <laughs> a way to tell someone you're pregnant without you're pregnant is whenever you have a cough, and you got to put a pad on. And I'm just going to leave it there. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, well, you will know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's gotten intense. Hold on. But, yeah, man, it's gotten pretty bad. Um, Brian was like, I really think you should go to the doctor. And I was like, Brian, I said, why am I going to go to the doctor, pay a copay for them to tell me, oh, it's the flu. Oh, it's covid just make sure you stay hydrated there's there's nothing you can do for these things so i was like i could tell myself to stay hydrated and take all my vitamins here at home like i've been doing like i'm not gonna pay and then so he texted me this morning he was like i really think one of us should go to the doctor i said well you go to the doctor the va covers whatever our insurance don't cover you go but <laughs> i think it's because brian's job they allow people to go to work sick and I told Brian, like, I don't know why you kept going, knowing how you were feeling. And then people started started reporting back that they had the flu and they had COVID. I said, when you know sickness is, like, super hard on my body. But I know I'm only sick because there was one night. Brian got sick first. He got, like, a sick, like, a day before me. And so that night that he was sick, we were, like, kind of facing each other in the bed. And he woke me up out of his sleep because I could just feel his cough right in my face. And I nudged him so hard, and I was like, you're going to have to face the other way. But as soon as that happened, as soon as that happened, I was like, I'm going to be sick. I am sick. So right now, I'm kind of Lysoling everything, even though we're not over it. Because, you know, like, the boys want to be in the living room and things like that. And I just don't want the boys to get sick. So I'm in the middle of making my bed, and I just thought that I would start vlogging. Maybe this will help someone see, like, how I take it easy but still maintain my home. <laughs> while I'm sick I do the bare minimum the very bare minimum like I'm not doing nothing crazy so and that's because I did want to put the baby stuff together this week but I'm not going to put his stuff together while I'm sick like I'll just wait till I'm on the other side of it so let's go ahead and get this bed fixed <laughs>
will have this air purifier lint, but every time I dust, it changes colors because the dust flies everywhere. So that color means like it's pretty dusty in here. If it's super bad, it'll turn red, and when it's good, it'll turn green and then stay blue. It was blue before I started dusting. <coughs> Next, we will start the D-Bot. The D-Bot will do the floors for us today because this mama ain't doing it. <laughs> I'm starting the clean. She's gonna clean the floors for us today. Thank goodness the boys have been really good at not spilling stuff. So I really don't have to mop or anything. But I do need to do my laundry. Alright you guys, I need to get online and order some groceries. Um, it's They just finished eating breakfast, so we'll probably have lunch at about 1. I'm going to eat this orange. Ethan has been giving me an orange every morning. And he's like, here's your vitamin C, mama. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> it was up to me. I wouldn't eat, but my baby's taking care of me. So I'm going to eat this orange, drink some water. Get these groceries ordered, and then I'll see you guys. Around the time the groceries get here, I always do the three hours or less because I'm a Walmart Plus member. It's only $5. You might have a few pieces, baby, but I threw away the pieces you don't play with or y'all broke. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get that done. I need to add a few things. Like, I've been building my cart over the days, like, as I see, like, what we're out of. 
and also like as i came across recipes on tiktok that i want to try and stuff like that so we are about to yeah so i'm about to get this done i need to add waffles french toast and sausage on a stick to the list <clears throat> a case of water cough drops and I think, I think that's all I need to add to the order. I think. All right, you guys, groceries are ordered. They're on their way. They already let me know they were out of some things. But um, what we're going to do now is go ahead and get the boys' lunch prepped. And then I need to switch these loads of laundry. Yeah. you to do. I said give me the
don't answer you when you talk to them, huh? Right, the groceries are on the way guys I'm about to be here in a minute <laughs> all right you guys i literally sat down and then i looked at the front door and i could see all the groceries <laughs> so they're already here so i'm about to start bringing everything in the boys are eating so brian just left for the doctor <laughs> Alright you guys, and everything is now unloaded, unbagged, so let's do a quick grocery haul. So we got a case of water. I always forget to mention that. We have lemons, cucumbers, grapes, two bunches of bananas. They actually ran through them the last time I bought them, which actually surprised me. Freeze-dried strawberry crisp because I'm going to be making the Starbucks pink drink. We have the berry, the berry that cures. We have blueberries, strawberries. We have bell peppers, two Caesar salad kits, these red lobster cheddar biscuits, four cans of green beans, four cans of black beans, some olives. I'm gonna make a pizza and I wanted all the veggies on it. Um, two jars of pizza sauce, some banana peppers. These popped up when I was looking for raspberries. Mm, don't know how it's gonna taste but it looked good so i wanted to try it and it says it has really simple ingredients so there's the ingredients right there pineapple coconut cream raspberries water cane sugar zen that xanthan gum gerard gum i think that's it not too bad we have regular french toast cinnamon french toast got some fruit loops those are for me we got um, regular pancake and sausage on a stick and the blueberry pancake and sausage on a stick. One thing we're leaving in 2023 is caring about name brands because these were like $2 cheaper than the name brand. Um, we got homestyle waffles. We got two cans of biscuits, two containers of lunch meat. We got rotisserie chicken and cracked black pepper. We got sandwich cheese, mm -mm -mm. we got creamy milk, mozzarella, pizza, and Mexican. We got four of the cherry slush. I ordered six of each, but I guess they were out of them. And then we got the cosmic stardust. We got the breeze berry. This is for my pink drink, white cran strawberry, and so are these coconut milks. Um, I had ordered another flavor, but they were out, and I didn't like the flavor that they were trying to substitute it with, so we only got four body armors this time we got an unsweet almond milk and then an unsweet vanilla almond milk that's one that we use in like oatmeal and cereal and things like that we have slim gems i have been addicted to these things we have snack packs these are for the boys 
snack box as well as the snack cart honey buns for brian he's been addicted to them as well as the snack cart we got these for the adult snack box and then um the boys snack box we needed to update the chips for us and the snack cart <clears throat> um y'all know what those are and listerine for the boys and then dog food and that is it for the grocery haul part. Now it's time to put it up. All right, so I have been seeing everybody like go, oh damn it, I meant to look at this expiration date and forgot. Ooh, no more. Is it true that things that are in cans are actually good for an additional five years? Boys, hold on, I need y'all to take these out too. These are, cause these expired about um, two years ago. Anyways, this is your sign to clean out your pantry. I feel like the beginning of the year is the best time to do it because, you know, okay, it's 2024. So, <coughs> January 2024. So, if anything doesn't say 2024, it's all old. You guys now see that I used to, I used to always put our drinks back here, but it just got to where I was buying stuff and we just shove it in there, shove it in there, shove it in there. Now, we can put our drinks our drinks in there again we got like our boxed all of our like pasta sauces and canned goods and then all my baking goods are up there I say all oh, like I got a lot but that looks so much better and then the pantry we had some really old stuff that was up there in containers that I got rid of and I knew that that stuff was old because we had it since before we moved into this house we moved into this house in 2022 so that's what it looks like it looks a little bare i need to buy some oatmeal but um not right now they have enough i'll buy oatmeal next week but um yeah everything is looking good even up here i know y'all saw all them i don't know if y'all saw i don't know what the camera got but there was like a bunch of old chips like shoved behind the cereal boxes and things like that like i know a lot of this stuff isn't expired because we rotate through that pretty regularly and same thing same thing with our snacks we rotate through our snacks pretty regularly so i know nothing up there is old either so ah, so exciting i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting these groceries put up and just finish listening to music and i'll show you guys the snack boxes once i'm done all right you guys here are the snack boxes this is the boys and this is mine and brian's dang dang all right y'all i am eating a very very late lunch i ordered me some chicken pho brian over there got ramen y'all let me know which one do you think is better ramen or pho like real Japanese Roman or but I know y'all are gonna agree with me, but I'm pho all day. He prefers ramen. Alright you guys, it is now nighttime. I just got dinner in the oven. Well started dinner. I'm about to fold our laundry. <clears throat>
All right, so I just finished dinner. I just stuck dinner back in the oven. So that way it can finish up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this laundry up really fast. Clean this up and then I will do my reading, write the word for TikTok. If you ever wonder what I cook for dinner, I post a lot of what I cook on TikTok. So be sure to follow me there. All right, you guys, this is what I made for dinner. It was like this little one pan pizza biscuit bake. Like I said, it's on TikTok, but um, the boys are about to kill, finish this. So let me go ahead and give them their seconds. All right, and they finished dinner, so I'm just gonna wash this. <coughs> Go ahead and do these dishes now. to go take a shower and unwind some hot hot water and I know someone's gonna say this and be like girl you didn't even take it easy I know I know I didn't take it easy that's a part of my life as a mom as a stay-at-home mom who gets to homeschool even when I'm sick I don't get to clock out I don't get to rest I still got things to do but as long as you continue to maintain the workload isn't as bad as if so like I know tomorrow, I'm not gonna have to do that much because I did everything today. I'll run the D-Bot again tomorrow. I'm not gonna have to dust tomorrow because I did it today and I can just really, really rest tomorrow. <coughs> and tonight's dinner was really easy. Today's lunch was really easy compared to some of the things that I usually do. But yeah, I mean, that that's my realistic life as a stay-at-home mom who's pregnant, six months pregnant. I'm sick with the Lord knows what, either the flu or COVID. Um, it was too late to get a positive on the test, but the doctor was like, no, you had something, but you just waited too long and the contagiousness, I guess, has passed. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I like to do when I'm sick and, I'm, and it's my shower time. All right, so first things first, my sh my sick showers are always taken in the boys' bathroom because the shower gets super hot. I have these two oils. This one's a dupe for Young Living Thieves. If you know anything about that, it's a really good antimicrobial oil and just good for your health. So I like to steam this. And then I'm gonna take this Guru Nanda Breathe Easy. And it's just gonna help open everything up. 
just I just take this and drop it on the walls and on the shower floor. Same thing with the breathe easy. I'm just gonna throw some. on the walls and then I will close this and I'm going to turn it on the highest setting that it'll go and sit in the steam because I obviously don't want to burn my skin off so I'm going to turn it on the highest setting that it'll go and then I just sit in the steam for about five ten minutes and then I get in the shower. If my shower's not this steamy when I'm sick, I don't want it. I don't want it. All right, you guys, that shower was amazing. Now we're just gonna do my quick skincare. Put on some deodorant. I hate going in through the neck. Usually I lift up my shirt, but I can't be showing all of that on YouTube. Nail use in first. This was all over TikTok. I need to update my Amazon skincare thing. We have the Go Pure Dramatically do <coughs> <coughs> The Go Pure D Dramatically Dewy Serum. I forgot to take socks with me to that bathroom. So I need to put some on right now. Cause after this, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and get me a snack. <coughs> Goodness. Anything that's like a hyaluronic acid, I recommend putting it underneath your moisturizer and you will see so much more results because hyaluronic acid is meant to pull moisture into your skin. So it's best to put it underneath the moisturizer. What I do is I go in with the native moisturizer and a couple of drops of this Leland Francis face oil literally just like three drops for my belly as you can see we're not getting any new stretch marks it's been itchy but I've been using this um Leland Francis body serum oh he's kicking right now on my belly <coughs> But it's actually lightened up my old um, um, stretch marks. So I can't wait to, I even go underneath to make sure I get it on my C-section scar. If you ever wonder why I have this little like fat down here, it's because I have like that C-section shelf. No matter how much weight I've lost, that doesn't go away. So, Brian said I could get a mommy makeover after our, our last baby. So, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> how funny! I need to show Brian. Because when I'm dressed for the day, like, you can't really tell I'm pregnant because I really, really like oversized clothes. <laughs> I think I forgot to show you guys what I had ordered for my second order. So, I have got those hot Cheetos up there. A what? And then I got this ice cream. I bought fish sticks, two boxes of chicken nuggets. And then I got some of this ice cream. And then some cookies and cream ice cream. And then I got two bags of french fries. Why do I feel like there was something more? Oh, and I ended up getting cough drops. I wanna say that's it. And it was like 70 bucks for that. And that was with a $7 tip. So I'm going to have one of these. Or not one of these for me. I 
I was gonna let the boys have an ice cream, but all of our spoons are dirty. We only have four because we've been throwing them away, so that's their fault. This is Brian's snickety snack. Who wants a Walmart baby haul? I knew you would, let's get into it. All right, so if you're new here, this is my fifth son. My fourth pregnancy I'm carrying, but my fifth son. So we're gonna start with zero to three months. Walmart had a ton of stuff on sale. So if you, you are having a baby or you know someone who's having a baby, get to Walmart this month and go to the baby section. I have gotten all of my baby stuff that I need for about $300. So I'll, I'll show y'all everything that I got from Walmart here soon. But what I got today is they had these little cotton, these little Gerber cotton pants. These are zero to three months. They had a two pack. These were on sale for five bucks. So cute. Oh my gosh. And then I got these Carter's um, cotton onesies to go with those little pants. So it's just little bears, little nice muted neutral colors. And then I got this Modern Moments onesie. Well, coverall. It's so cute. I like it because it has the buttons down here so I don't have to unzip the whole thing. And then this is the Wonder Nation brand. And this was only six bucks. And this is what this one looks like. And the zipper is down at the bottom. So this one was um, on sale for seven bucks. These were a three pack for eight bucks. And now we're getting into the three to six months. Another pack of pants on sale for $5. And then for those pants, I got another pack of the cotton onesies from Carter's. Again, eight bucks. This one has whales. My oldest son picked these ones out. My youngest picked out this Gerber cotton set, set three to six months. And it was, um, you know, just little wild animals. And then I got this stroller set, which is originally almost $400, $89. I got it for $89. I'm telling you, Walmart has crazy markdowns right now. So I'm gonna show you the other stuff that I've gotten from Walmart so far. Okay, so from Walmart, I got this. This is an $80 bouncer. I got it for 50. This is like a hundred plus dollar bassinet. Over $100, I got it for 60 bucks at Walmart. Last time I got him some socks. These were $3 a pack. We got him these onesies last time. So just a cute little basic gray one, kind of like the green one. Um, all of are from Modern Moments, so they're $7. This little outdoors one and this one. If you guys want to see like more of more baby content, be sure to follow me over on YT because that's where I do like vlogs and you actually see me shop and go and look for a lot of this stuff. So far, this is what our stash is looking like. But take your butt to Walmart if you are preparing for a baby or know somebody. 